In this video, we're going to focus on how we can solve this item here. This is one of the bugs, or not really the bugs, it's basically a coding error from our side. If we click on this, you will now not anymore see it. Because at first it was showing here somewhere eventually. Now you will notice that even if we make it smaller, you will not see this issue anymore. So this is being solved. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to fix the item that we have in here, where we have this like that but as well here that needs to be removed and this is a really tiny fix so it's really a fast video so we're going to scroll down here we're going to look at the area of the today line and basically the issue here is we have here what we call the chart area and then we have here down we have here as well the position and this is an issue here is that if the position would be somewhere outside, so basically there is somewhere outside here, it's still being considered as a part of the chart area, or not, sorry, not of the chart area, but still part of the scale. So it recognizes this. So for example, if I would do here new date, well, this is a new date already. You can see here that's probably somewhere here must be whatever today is, which is 26 October. So what I want to do then is to make sure that if the value is outside of the chart area in that case don't draw at all all right so to do this we have to go all the way here up because basically this entire area should be covered in here so i'm going to say here a simple if statement if and then we're going to grab here if the uh, get pixel for value new date i'm going to put that in here is bigger or equal to left in that case uh, draw the item and what I want to do is to make sure as well is if ever it would be bigger than right because I am certain that will eventually be an issue as well so then we're going to grab this one here or as well put it in there and if it's bigger than right side, in that case, uh, sorry, not bigger, but smaller, or equal to right, in that case, we're going to draw these lines and text. Else, don't do anything at all. So let's put it all in between there. And uh, save this, let's see, all right. Now, I want to say in November, and I'm going to reduce the size of the chart so we should be able to see and you can see although this is slightly overlapping so that's probably eventually something we need to fix or we have to just adjust the pixel formation on that one or how many pixels this is but that's that's a bit more complicated I will avoid that one for now however this all works and I think this looks nice as well so this is a very short video next video we're going to focus on when we start to have this here we might want to add up for example, a name and a new task in here, and that will be fun as well. We can put in a task with a specific date, so we could show them, add up a new task here, and then give it a starting and ending date as well.